Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Adventure, but with a pie for an N by Frappy. <laughs> Maybe it's Advepecher. That's funny. Um, anyway, so we have normal Sudoku rules. So in every row, every column, and every 2 by 3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have white dots around the grid with a number in them. That number is the difference between the two cells, the exact difference. So let's say these two. These two have a difference of three. So if I put a six here, then I have to put a three here. So those have a difference of three. Can't do a two, that's a difference of four. Can't do a four, that's a difference of two. Gotta be a difference of three. All right, so that's a difference of one, that's a difference of four. You get the idea, and that's it. Um, obviously, we haven't necessarily given every possible difference dot. It's just a positive constraint, you know, I could have a 1, 3 here, and we don't have a 2 difference dot there. That's fine. Um, so those are the rules. Um, there's a link in the description if you want to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, how do we want to get started here? The 4s seem like a decent starting place because it could either be 1, 5, or 2, 6, but we can't include 3 there because 3 is not 4 away from anything. Um, 1, 5, or 2, 6. The other thing that I'll notice is there are, so 1, 5, 2, 6, right? First of all, these can't be 2s, which means these can't be 6s. But more importantly, oh, and this can't be 2, so that can't be 6. All right. Um, more importantly, what I wanted to point out is that this, let's call that green, whatever flavor of difference of four that is, either one, five, or two, six, whatever flavor that is, this has to be a different flavor. We'll call that purple. And that's because there's only two digits involved in a single flavor, and this can't be either of them because it sees both of the greens. Um, now, we do we know what color this one is? We don't necessarily know what color this one is, not yet at least, but maybe we can figure that out. Um, so... I'm not sure how much that helps at the moment, but we do need to place this purple digit somewhere in this column, but I'm not sure if that's helpful. Um, let's look at twos, because we, we were given quite a few twos. So there's a two in one of these two, and there's a two in one of these two. So let's think about this. If this was a two, this would have to be a five. And if this was a two, this, I think that if this was a two, this would have to be a one or a three. So I guess we could put one, three, five here, but... Let's see, if this was 2, 5, that, that is a difference of, no, sorry, that's a difference of 3. Um, wait, 2, 5 might not work. Yeah, because this is 1, 5, or 2, 6. So if this was 2, 5, it, it gets rid of both options. It gets rid of the 1, 5 option, and it gets rid of the 2, 6 option, because either, because there's no 1, and, sorry, yeah, there's no 2, and there's no 5. So this can't be, the, can't, the 2 can't be here. The 2 has to be here. So then this is 6, and then this is not 2, 6. This is 1, 5. Okay, I don't need the colors then. That's pretty cool. So this is a 1 or a 3, and then we need to be 3 different from that. The 3 would have, can't be 0, can't go with 0, so we'd have to go with 6, and it can't. So we'd actually go 1, 4 here. And then this pair is 3, 5. Okay, so we can fill 3, 5, 6 here, and we can fill 1, 4 here. Let's see, where's that take us? This needs a difference of 3, and it can't involve a 1 or a 2, so it has to be 3, 6. Um, so this is a 5. All right, so this is known, this is a 4. Okay, let's look at this difference of 1 here. 3 wouldn't have a difference of 1 with anything. So that's 6 and 3, and that's 5 and 1. So that's not 1, which means that can't be 5. This is a really cool, uh, well-constructed puzzle. It's flowing nicely, and it's interesting the whole time. That's, that's awesome. Um, I don't compliment these puzzles enough, but I do enjoy them. Um, let's see, 1, 2, and 4 go here. So this can't be the 1 or 2. So that's the 4. This is a 1, 2 pair. So this is, what, 3, 5, and 6? This isn't the 5? Hmm. Okay, well, we have a difference of 3 here, and we can't use 5 or 6. So this has to be 1, 4. 
That does make a 1-4 pair in this column, so this is a 6, which goes with 2. That goes with 3, 5, and 6 there, all right. That's the 3 and the 6. 2 goes with 1, not with 4. 1 goes with 4, there we go. And I think we're finishing. Um, so here I need 3 and 5, that's not resolved yet. Here I need um, 1 and 4, that is resolved, or 1 like that. We have everything except 6 accounted for in this column. This column needs a 3 and a 5, but it can't be 3, so that's 5 and 3, that's 5 and 3 and 5, there we go. And we have 2 and 3 left. Oh, <laughs> what is this a picture of? Um, that's fun. I, I don't reckon, okay, you're, you guys are going to have to tell me what this is a picture of, because I don't, it's cool. Oh, my brain's not seeing it though. Cool. Well, anyway, um, that's fun. Custom, uh, custom win message there. Um, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Um, some really neat logic there. I don't think I needed the coloring here. I think that that was super, per, superfluous, but, uh, yeah, the breaking up here was, uh, actually pretty neat. How the, um, the two five here wouldn't work. Um, basically two limited to these two. But the 2 here, being 2, 5, breaks this 4. This 4 wouldn't have any values that were 4 apart. And uh, that caught us through basically the whole puzzle. Very cool. Um, so thank you, uh, Frappy. And if you enjoyed this as well, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.